Okay, at the table saw, we're going to use a jig that I'm going to show you how to build to, um, to cut the polyethylene block into a hexagon. The jig is really made up of um, three parts and some holes and slots. Okay, uh, The first part is a piece of wood that uh, would be your runner, and it needs to fit pretty tightly in these slots on the table saw. So I've got a piece of scrap pine here that I can put in there, and it, it, it does a pretty good job. You might need to sand it just a little bit to make it move smoothly through there, maybe round the ends off a little bit, but that'll do just fine. And what you need to do is cut a piece of that and um, nail it onto the bottom of a piece of plywood. So you'll nail that onto a piece of plywood. In this case, the piece of plywood is um, 17 inches long. This was just a piece of scrap in the shop, by a little over 11 and a quarter inches deep. And uh, I nailed that onto there, and um, then I put this up on the saw. Actually made a cut uh, right on into the piece of plywood up to about this point. I then put a square up against the blade, and then another square that's a 60 degree, 30 degree square up against the bottom of that one. And then I put a piece of oak or whatever you've got. It could be plywood, it could be pine, it could be oak as long as it's, it's straight. And I nailed it on one end, and then I moved it up to what was flush against the square here. And I nailed it on the other end with a brad nailer. You can you know, nail it by hand or have somebody help you. Um, and then took my squares away and ran that through the table saw to cut the end off on that. The measurement of each side of this hexagon is going to be about 2.88 inches. Uh, I know that from the CAD drawing, it's really precise, but uh, we're not going to be quite that precise. What we're going to do is we're measure 2.88 divided by 2 is, comes out about 1 and 7 sixteenths inches. So we're going to be right at about 1 and 7 sixteenths inches. We're going to put a, a pencil line, and I've already got lines on here, obviously. This is previously made. And then we're going to measure out from that um, 2 and a half inches. And we're going to mark that spot. Okay, we've drilled a hole in here on our mark where we had uh, 1 and 7 sixteenths inch in and uh, then uh, that hole was uh, the same size as this hole, uh, 0.166 inch. six-sided piece of high-density polyethylene that we can start drilling and making an antenna out of. So uh, we're going to take a piece of scrap off the table saw and we're going to take that 1964 inch drill bit and we're going to drill a hole in the piece of scrap so we can test and make sure that 1964 is the right size for our poles. And 1964 is it. I mean, it's just about perfect. It's got just enough slack that it goes in easily, comes out easily. There we go. Took a piece of scrap plywood, cut it five inches wide this way so that I can put uh, that block on there. And then I marked a hole through the center here with a drill bit, just twisting it through. And uh, drilled a hole in the middle of that and then marked around the edges. And the purpose of this, it's going to act as a jig on our drill press to help us get our holes aligned quickly. Now well, we're going to take this board and we're going to clamp it to a fence on the drill press. Uh, I've got a fence that's got two bolts through the slots on the drill press. Um, and then we're going to line this up so the drill bit is three-eighths of an inch away from the face of the board. All right, I monkeyed around with that for a minute and I got it to where my drill press was sitting right in the middle here. And in the center of each side, it's aligned with the, the line that I drew on my plywood. I'm um, going to drill a hole at least an inch and a half deep here. All 
All right, I've set my drill press up so that my hole here, which is uh, the number size for a number 25 drill bit, is one and three quarter inches from the center. And that's aligned. Now all I have to do is put my thumb along the back edge of this and keep this squared away and I can drill through here. And it ought to be perfectly in line with the hole there. Now I want to set my stop on the drill press so that I don't go all the way through. I drew two lines here, one on this side and one on this side, uh, at a 45 degree angle off of the center line. And uh, I'll show you how those are used. We need two holes for um, our terminal screws. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put one of the points toward that line and hold it and just drill all the way through. So now I've got a hole over on this side. Now I'm going to go 90 degrees away from that and put a hole over here. So it's not just on the other side of the screw hole, it's a hole 90 degrees away. And again, I've got a line over on this side that corresponds to the line on this side. Okay, I've switched to a uh, one half inch Forstner bit and I'm gonna center that over the hole that I just drilled and I've set my drill press stops where I'm only drilling this hole about a quarter of an inch deep. And go right over to the other side. Get out of line up pretty well. Okay. We've turned our material over. Um, you can tell we've turned it over because our countersunk holes are on the other side. These are the small holes here. Now we're going to put a 5 8 inch Forstner bit in here and we're going to set our depth to where we're not drilling any more than a half of an inch deep into the material. I may have to go down a little bit and then stop and, and reset it. We're going to make sure we're square by putting a tri-square on the edge of our piece of uh, plywood here, our little template, and uh, making this edge flush with our work. And then we can just hold it down to start our drill. We want to go as deep as we can with this without going through and uh, I don't think I'd want to go any further because this drill bit does have a tip on it that goes further than the flat. I'm going to put one screw in here. Got that nicely marked. Now I'm going to switch uh, drill bits in the drill press to my little bitty uh, number 36 drill bit. Set my uh, depth on the drill press at uh, a little more than a half inch, probably five eighths of an inch, but certainly not three quarter. I don't want to go through. And go ahead and drill one hole. I'm going to go ahead and tap that 632 hole. And put a screw in that first hole. And I'm just going to eyeball each of these holes right here. I get them in the center right between everything. I've drilled and tapped all four of those holes. What we're going to do is, it uh, doesn't matter which side you do this on, but on one side you need to cut a slot so that a wire can come up from in there under the edge of this and out um, without being crimped by the SO239.